Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I have eight ASVAB math problems. They're basically on the mathematical knowledge. They are eight different samples. Make sure you pause the video, do the problem before I do them. You should do them pretty quick, no calculator, um, and you're looking for tips and tricks. And more important, you're also looking to see if you have that math knowledge. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Number one is about order of operations. Usually use this device, PEMDAS. What that means is you do your parentheses first, then your exponents, multiplication, division, equal weight from left to right, addition, subtraction, after that, left to right. So first thing I have here is parentheses. So I do those first. I have three times five plus two is seven minus 10 divided by two. Now I do multiplication and division from left to right. So three times seven is 21. I'm not doing addition subtraction yet, so that stays there. 10 divided by two is five. 21 minus five is 16. Correct answer, answer B right there. Um, if you're not getting these right, time to do some more studying. I have a whole math course called Math Test Success. It's a free booklet you could download online or buy on Amazon for a little bit over 10 bucks. Video walks you through every chapter. All right, let's take a look at another problem. Problem number two, fractions and mixed numbers. So a recipe calls for two and a half cups of flour. You wanna make one and a half times that. So you gotta take these mixed numbers and convert them into improper fractions. The way you do that is if I have two and a half, I take that whole number, multiply it by that denominator, and add the numerator. So two times two is four, plus one is five. So two and a half is five over two. One and one half. One times two is two, plus one is three, is three halves. So I've taken these mixed numbers, turned them in improper fractions. And then the next step is saying, I have this much per serving, and I need to make one and a half times that. So I have to multiply these two fractions together, the five over two times three over two. I am multiplying fractions, so I multiply straight across the top to get 15, straight across the bottom to get four. There's my answer, I see if it's up there, it is not. These are all mixed numbers, so I have to convert this into a mixed number. I think of this fraction like this, it falls over that way to get four into 15. Well, four goes into 15 three times. Four times three is 12. 15 minus 12 is three. So I have three with three left over, and I'm going four into it. So this is the same as three and three fourths. Correct answer, answer B right here. If you're not getting these answers, as you pause the video and do these before I do them, time to study some more. All right, let's move on to number three. Problem number three right here is percentages. Uh, these aren't too hard, but you gotta review to make sure you bring these things back. So a cert originally cost 40 bucks and is on sale for 25% off. I think of that percent as like a little arrow here, saying it goes over one, two. So that 25% is 0.25 as a decimal. What is the sale price? This important thing. So I don't want to find the discount. I want to find the sale price. 25%, 0.25. I think a 25 cents of a dollar. Well, that's a quarter. A quarter of 40 is 10 bucks, right? So a quarter of 40 is $10. Oh, what's going on there? So you naturally want to grab answer A. That is the wrong answer. It is saying, what is the sale price? We do 40 minus the discount 10 to get a correct answer, answer D right there. Not only do you need to know the math, you gotta read pretty thoroughly as well. If you're not getting these right, practice, practice, practice. All right, let's move on to another one. This is an algebra problem right here. What we need to do here is isolate the variable X. So I have four X minus seven equals 13, this is opposite the order of operations, because I'm trying to undo this thing. I'm trying to go backwards and get that X by itself. If I want that X by itself, 
First, I'm going to get rid of that seven. So I'm going to add seven to both sides. I do whatever I want as long as I do the same thing on both sides of that equation. That gives me 4x by itself. Minus 7 plus 7, they cancel. 13 plus 7 is 20. Now, next thing I need to do is get that thing by itself. I am multiplying. I reverse that with division. Divide both sides by 4. These cancel. X is by itself. That's what I wanted. 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. Correct answer up here. Answer C, 5. If you're not getting these right, make sure you're doing these before I do them. Check your work against mine. If you're not getting them right, got to study some more. All right, let's move on to another problem. Problem number five, area of a rectangle. I want to mark this up. Rectangle is four yards and eight feet. So I got this yard that looks like that. I got different units. I have yards and feet. I look at my answers. Every answer is in feet. So that means I got to convert everything to feet. Right here are these yards. There are three feet to one yard. That's an important thing to remember. Three feet equal one yard. So if I have four yards and I want it in feet, I got to multiply by one. Three feet and one yard are the same. Multiplying it by one, my yards cancel, and this thing is the equivalent of 12 feet. So now I have this rectangle that is 12 feet by 8 feet. I've got to multiply them together to get this area. 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 2 is 16. So 8 times 12 is 96 square feet. Correct answer, C. We do that again, 12 times 8. I could do this in my head, but what I'm doing in my head is I go 8 times 10, 80 plus 8 times 2, 16. If I multiply it out this way, I'm doing the same thing. I just do the 16 first, carry the 1. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1, 96, 96 square feet. I'm moving along to problem number 6 right here. A map has a scale of 1 inch equals 50 miles. So I have 1 inch is equal to 50 miles. And if two cities are three and a half inches apart, so I'm going to set up this proportion, right? Three and a half inches apart. What is the actual distance? How many miles is that? Well, how do I get from one inch to three and a half? I multiply by three and a half. So I have to multiply here by three and a half as well. I could do that in my head by kind of breaking down this decimal 50 times three is 150, 50 times 0.5, 50 times a half, what is half of 50? That's 25, 50 and 20, 150 and 25 is 175. Correct answer, answer B right there. If you have a little extra time on this, good Lord, pen's not working very well. Um, you could always double check that work. Let me just clean this up a little bit. 125, does that make sense? One is 50 miles, three and a half is 125. Yeah, that makes sense. It looks like a reasonable answer. All right, let's move on to problem number seven, exponents. What exponents mean, this thing right here means two to the third power. That means two times two times two. This is telling you you multiply two by itself three times. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So this is equal to 8. Then that 5 is just being multiplied by itself one more time. So a total of 2 fives, 5 times 5 is 25. You always do the exponents before the addition. 8 plus 25 is 33. Correct answer, answer C right there. And then lastly, problem number 8, kind of serving Solving word problems with multiple steps. Again, see if you can do this in your head before I do it. Three pens are $1.25. So I'm going to do multiplication here. And two notebooks are $2.50. So I'm going to do multiplication there, and then I'm going to add them together. So three times $1.25. Three times a dollar is three bucks. Three times a quarter is 75. So my pens are $3.75. 
then my notebooks are 2 times 250. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 50 cents is 1. So 2 notebooks at 250 is $5. You can see those are natural distractors. You get either one of these answers. Do you think you get it right? Circle A, circle B. But it is asking for you to find all of them. So you got to add these together to get 75 cents, $8. Correct answer, answer C right there. If you didn't get all of these eight problems, eight out of eight, right? These are kind of like on the easier medium side, the mathematical knowledge for the ASVAB exam. If you didn't get all of these right, Got to go back to study. You can study by going to my book. It is free online at mathtestsuccess.com. Or you can buy it on Amazon for a little bit over 10 bucks. I have a video for every chapter in the book. It'll walk you through every chapter with a lot of sample problems, sample tests. All right, the key to doing well is practice. That goes for everything you do, whether it's taking a math exam or playing basketball. The only people who are really good at anything are the ones that practice. So if you're not getting these right, you've got to practice, practice, practice. All right, good luck.